Welcome to the day in the life of an engineering student at the University of Waterloo. First things first, get ready for the day. I like to be educated, but I'm so frustrated. Hello to my loneliness. I guess that ignorance is bliss. Take me back to the Anyway, hello. I am a first year mechanical engineering student and today I'm showing you guys one of the busiest days in my week. So I have two co-op interviews today. The first one is right now and I also have another one right before lunch, which means I'll be missing a couple of classes, but that's pretty normal. I'll just catch up on the notes later. Oh, and by the way, this is a remote interview. So I'm wearing a dress shirt with sweatpants Elite combo. So the interview went all right. I did fumble a couple of questions, but now it's time for linear algebra, my favorite class. Just a tip for incoming students. If you are learning vectors in high school, make sure you actually study the material. I slacked off during my vectors portion of grade 12, and now it's coming back to bite me. You don't need to put the zeros anymore. <coughs> Coming from here, the right -hand side. Now it's time for my engineering communications course. This class is a nice break from all the math we have to do, but that usually means I don't pay attention. Fuck! <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> ah. Okay, so I had to leave class a little early because I have my second interview now. Let's do this. Okay, so that was more like a technical interview. So they asked me a bunch of technical questions, but I answered them to the best of my abilities. So, you know, what can you do? Anyway, it's time for lunch. Let's go eat. I'm hungry. I also need a change because this tie is like choking me. So today's campus food is this, and then we got chrysanthemum tea. My favorite. All right, I'm gonna munch this down and then it's time to go to physics. 1.30, physics. I should really focus more in this class, but honestly, YouTube videos are more helpful than the lectures. No, but seriously, the material taught in class versus the assignments we get have a massive difficulty difference. Like, they'll teach us basic things, which is fine. But the homework questions? Bro, I'm gonna need the power of Einstein to solve them for real. After that, we got Engineering, Design, and Graphics. In this class, we learn the fundamentals of how to use software like AutoCAD and SOLIDWORKS. We also do quite a bit of technical sketching too. Now, this is a three-hour class, but hey, at least we got comfy chairs. So we can combine all of these techniques. By the way, here's a clip of one of the TAs scolding us for doing so badly on a question from our quiz. <laughs> This is how I felt when I was marking the question. Um, it's, it was not done well. This was for the criteria of a thermometer. 520, classes are done for the day, so I get some food and chill for like an hour. Holy shit, the moon is out. Can you guys see that? No way. That is crazy. 6.30, it's grind season. Time to do some work and catch up on the lectures I missed. Tonight's dinner, chicken sandwich. 
which to be honest is one of the better items in the cafeteria. It's honestly pretty good. Now from this point on, I dedicate this time to do whatever I want. I either continue with assignments, work on personal projects, or hang out with friends. Tonight, I'm gonna work on a school project. All right, for my final design project, we have to make a toy. So what my group has decided on is a sticky hand shooter, which basically shoots out a sticky hand and it's attached to a string so you can retract it after. What I'm doing tonight is revising up the 3D model for the hand crank so you can actually wind it back up again. Hopefully I can get this part made by the end of the week so we can add it to our prototype. But after working for a bit, I always manage to get distracted. Eleven PM, time to shower and get ready for bed. All right, I'm gonna call it a night. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, share it with your mom, leave a like and subscribe. Anyway, good night. Okay, so I actually don't sleep at 11.30. It's more like 2 a.m. But don't be like me, get your eight hours.